were you entertained? Nothing shocks me when it comes to Ar- Arsenal and Arteta sometimes. I'm not yet shocked. Uh, if you remember Keely, I've been shouting and calling it. Saka has been poor for the last six games. Don't tell me about his assist for Martinelli's goal. No. Look at Ramsdale. What are you doing? 25 seconds and you're trying a risky pass. A six-year pass. 25 seconds in a title race. How, what, how do you come up with that? We saw a similar performance against Baltimore earlier, earlier, earlier this season. And I was thinking the boys should have learned from that. For them to reenact and reincarnate that kind of performance. No, we're lucky to get, a, get away with a win. You can't be lucky two times or three times. No, you can't. The whole team was poor. Aside from Martinez, who was showing signs, the whole team was poor. Jesus poor. Party was pathetic today. Party is showing signs of decline. Now, let's be real. The last two, three games, Party has been is showing obvious signs of decline. All the guy, he likes to come to the light most of the time when we are trailing and scores those goals when we are trailing. Mm. That's what he wants to show is a captain. Pathetic. Ramsdale, pathetic. Gabriel, so so. Ben White, uh, decent. Saka, I don't care about his goal today. I don't care about his assist. He was poor. Jesus, poor. He's excusable. He's come back from a long term injury. You can't expect consistency immediately. In a title race at home against Southampton. And this is what we give to the fans. We just we started playing well in the 80th minute. At home. <laughs> no, mathematically it's not over. But let, let, let's 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 be sensible and logical. Man City are in form. They are playing well. Now, it's not impossible to go to the ATI and win. It's not impossible. But is it probable? No, let's be real. Is it probable that we'll go to the ATI and win? Against Liverpool, two goal lead, we blew it. Against West Ham, two goal lead, we blew it. Today, against Southampton, we go 3 1 down. And we start playing. At the 88th minute. <laughs> ah. It, 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 it's the hope that kills you. When Arsenal fans are beginning to believe in a team, that is when they start to dish out this lethargic, uninspiring performances. After Mikel Arteta in his press conference yesterday was calling for, for a, a for a revengeful performance. So this is a revengeful performance. No, this is a revengeful performance from your, from, your, from, your, from your team. I'm appalled. I'm ashamed for this thing. And for those of you who keep on blindly supporting the fact that Holding should continue to play in the, in, in the team. You can see it. You could argue the goals we've considered in the last three games were not directly Holding's fault. But have you noticed we've not kept a clean sheet since Soliba has been out of the team? Coincident? Correlation? Take your choice. Offensively, what Soliba gives to us Holding will never give to us. Defensively, he doesn't give it to us. In terms of calmness, receiving the ball at the back, pace, recovery pace, tackling, goal scoring, holding doesn't come near Saliba. But yet, let's keep on playing holding that changes the way we play. He's so bringing Ben White to the center and put Real Waters, who is a natural right back. He might be young, but he's a professional footballer. But no, there's tough. Ben White as a right back, I keep on playing holding. Who reduces the way we play? Yeah. See, we play Manchester City on Wednesday. 
if we play holding, <laughs> we are going to be holding a lot of goals. Now, it's not impossible that we can go to Manchester City and win. It's not impossible. But the probability is extremely low. You can gas up yourself and call for a rallying cry for support, which is fair. But if we go to Manchester City and play forward back and holding partners, Gabriel Magalhães, it will be a long, long game. It's done, it's done. At least we rescued a point, right? A disgraceful point at home. Three points from nine in three matches. How the mighty are falling. How have we crumbled this much? Let me know your your, your what or your take in the comment section because I don't have much to say. I, I, like I'm running out of I'm I'm trying to be calm, not to overreact. I do not believe in this fake outrage some of the Arsenal fans will be putting out. It is what it is. It's not, imp it's not impossible for us to win the league. It's not impossible. But is it probable at this stage? If we can't beat Southampton at home. How about Brighton? Can we beat Brighton with these performances? Can, can we beat Wolves? Can we beat Chelsea? Let me know in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.